Our top story tonight is school safety. In less than a month, students will begin the new school year. But following the tragedy in Uvalde, safety is going to look a lot different at Texas schools. A new law has districts scrambling to arm their campuses. Now, Governor Abbott signed House Bill 3 in June, which means every public school in our state will need to have an armed guard. It's a big change, especially for elementary schools that often went without this extra protection. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert with reactions tonight from Beaumont and Nederland ISDs. Cameron is live. Yeah, guys, that's right. I also went around Nederland today to talk to some parents to see how they feel about this. I heard a resounding sigh of relief from the people I talked to to now know that someone will be on campus to protect their children. The world has changed. Schools are no longer a safe haven, but instead have become a target. In June, Governor Abbott signed off on House Bill 3, bringing sweeping changes to safety and security at public schools in Texas. So we're looking for a type of armed security guard for this year. Districts across the state are now posting new positions for armed security guards. The bill requires one at every campus. We already have three SROs, so we're looking for four more armed security guards. The guards can be an armed officer, a school marshal, or even a school district employee. Nederland ISD Superintendent Dr. Stuart Kieschnick is hoping to hire people with law enforcement experience. In today's world, you can never tell when that person is going to be needed to step up and do the job. You hope it never happens at your school. You hope it never happens, but you have to be prepared. However, doing the process Thursday morning, Beaumont ISD hosted a safety and security meeting to go over ways to meet the new regulations. BISD Police Chief Joseph Malbro says staffing 29 campuses with an armed guard will be tough. Really right now not enough officers to go around to now put someone at every elementary campus per se. An officer with experience is preferred but both districts aren't ruling out the possibility of arming an employee instead. And we'll have to just play it by ear see what we come up with and have the best plan possible for the law goes into it into effect September 1st. But for now, we're looking for a school marshal type person. And with the short turnaround from that bill passing just last month, schools who can't get enough personnel for this school year may qualify for an exemption. Nederland ISD still has three positions to fill. Live in Nederland tonight, Cameron Seibert, 12 News. Thank you, Cam. And there are other items also included in the state's new school safety bill. In addition to the armed guards, safety inspections by the Texas School Safety Center also will be required every five years. The bill creating a safety and security department within the TEA. And the TEA will now have to notify parents of any violent activity on campus. And finally, teachers must complete a mental health training program.